friends and family of 17 year old Jamari Cannon, who was shot and killed last week, are paying tribute to a life they say was senselessly taken. Fox 2 Stephanie Rothman talks with his mother about the tragedy as police search for a break in the case. After waves of rain, suddenly a bit of sun Tuesday afternoon makes way for a show above. But I know God got him now. Oh yeah. Oh, he stopped yeah. the rain and brought the rain, bro. Right. The rainbow providing a bit of solace, accompanied by a sea of blue and white balloons filling the air. Released by friends, family, and community members at the Youth and Family Life Center in downtown St. Louis, where he volunteered, paying tribute to 17-year-old Jamari Cannon, shot and killed at his home nearby a little over one week ago. He was like an extremely gentle soul, had a kind spirit. The children loved him. He was very beloved. He was responsible for going out and helping rake leaves and cut grass for our seniors. But he also was responsible for helping our children in the after school program feel like they were wanted in our community. The love is pouring in like I would have never expected it, but it's going in from everywhere. Brianna Dixon is Jamari's mother. He was her eldest of seven. It goes on too much down her. All these type of little communities. It, it just needs to stop. It's sickness. Kids not even growing up. My son can't even see 18 now. On February 5th, Dixon came home frantically looking for her son. She said she didn't see any police or first responders, so drove around, only to later find her son dead for an hour shot as he was going inside his house. Don't be leaving nobody out there dead that long. He could have probably got saved. So it's just crazy. Start patrolling this stuff more, clean it up. All the community members that came out just want to see justice be served. Right now, there are no suspects in St. Louis Metro Police Homicide Division is leading the investigation. They ask if anyone has information to contact them. Reporting in downtown St. Louis, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.